Hey everyone, welcome to the Movie Vault. My name is Rob. We're going to talk about movies as always. I am delighted to review two of the latest imprint arrivals, guys. Spine number 295 and 299. We're going to talk about Strange Invaders and Green Ice. Green Ice and Strange Invaders. Let's jump right into this with Strange Invaders. So, guys, this one comes from 1983. Spine number 299. 94 minutes long. Has a really nice slip cover here. And when we take it off, you have alternative artwork on the Amore case, which I really like. This is fantastic artwork. I'm not like really sold on the slip cover. This on the slip would have been amazing. Inside you have some nice artwork on the reverse of the, the inner sleeve, which is really nice, a picture from the movie. Let me talk about the audio quality first, guys. LPCM uh, dual mono mix basically does the job, as I always say, no issues. Uh, as I said, this movie was originally shot in 83, so stereo, like our dual mono would have been the kind of norm at the time. There is a real cool kind of 1950s style sci-fi kind of score to this movie which I really really enjoyed. Music by John Addison actually on the back there so a really cool score by John Addison on this one. Let's jump into the picture video quality this is a 1080p presentation. Aspect ratio is 235 to 1 so you get your black bars top and bottom of your picture. Film grain is present this was obviously originally shot on 35mm film so it's cool to see the grain in there. What I find with some of these restorations is you are always kind of get some dirt and speckles and stuff in the opening titles and then once you get into the actual movie itself it looks really really good it looks great and it's a fantastic color grade on this release of strange invaders i was really pleasantly surprised with this one guys a couple of thoughts about the movie great practical effects you know if you're a long time viewer here in the channel i love practical effects I'm an 80s kid and I love practical effects over the CGI stuff. The aliens are wild in this movie. They look absolutely wild. They just kind of suck the life out of people. Sorry to kind of maybe give some spoilers there, guys. The idea, I guess, is okay. Aliens arrive in the past and they kind of take the place of people in this town and it all kind of catches up later on. It's all revealed and there's a lot of government involvement and stuff like that. As I said, it has a crazy score, which I did really enjoy. Um, Nancy Allen is in here. So uh, 70s and 80s movie fans will know Nancy Allen from a bunch of stuff. She's in there. Louise Fletcher is in there. So the nurse from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest is in there. She's like this UFO investigator and she makes a really funny Spielberg joke in reference to E.T. in Strange Invaders, which I really liked. Those are my kind of initial thoughts on this first time watch, guys. There are some bonus features on this as well. There's an audio commentary, there's a 25 minute video essay, and there is a one minute trailer as well. So that wraps up my review of Strange Invaders on Blu-ray from Imprint available right now link in the description down below up next in this double review guys is spine number 295 this is green ice from 1981 109 minutes long this one runs and this is directed by ernest day so this has a pretty cool cast guys ryan o'neill and ann archer and omar sharif in this imprint release fantastic looking early 80s artwork old school artwork there on the slip cover and this is actually brilliant and then the actual inner sleeve is not that interesting looking at all so this is the reverse guys this is brilliant artwork here there is the back of the blu-ray and inside once again you get some more of that fantastic artwork on the disc and you have another picture still from the movie on the inside of the inner sleeve this one guys let's talk audio on this lpcm two channel stereo mix on this one and um, again does the job as i always say no issues or complaints for the sound on this one you have a kind of a weird score music on this one i feel like it's cut like the music cuts weirdly and strangely at certain points in the movie bond vibes to synth 
like early 80s synth stuff back to kind of rock stuff to like you know love scene stuff it's it's a really really strange score let's jump to the picture quality on this once again this is a 1080p presentation this it comes from a scan from the original camera negative which is always good to hear guys once again grain is present and you're going to get some dust and dirt and speckles throughout the open and title sequence and a little bit later on in the like final say the last reel the final 20 minutes of the movie daytime scenes i thought looked really overexposed at times and um, very very bright i'm not too sure what the story was there vibrant color grade on this one so it does look really good really well nice and vibrant and colorful you get some in that speaking of last reel um so the final 20 minutes of the movie which would have been the last like physical film reel of the original camera negative you're just getting some white lines kind of top to bottom which indicates some damage from that reel it probably came off a roller so film actual film runs through a series of rollers and it looks to me like working in the cinema game as long as I have and damaged many a print as I have accidentally over the years. It looks like it came off a roller somewhere and it looks like the camera negative is damaged and there's nothing they could do with that. As soon as I put this thing on, first time watch guys, I thought the title sequence has major James Bond vibes. And lo and behold, it says it right on the back. The title sequence was designed by Morris Binder who done most of the James Bond, if not all of the James Bond title sequences. So that's really, really cool. The villain lair and stuff later on in the movie is very, very Bond-esque. Probably trying to cash in on Bond here in the early 80s with green ice. There is a weird tone shift in the movie. So the movie starts off, let's say, explorers. Uh, and they've kind of found some emeralds, right? It's basically what the whole movie is about. Uh, they're trying to get away from the army and the army basically like shoots and kills the men and sexually assaults the woman and then the tone immediately shifts to Ryan O'Neill happily kind of driving along in his car. I've just been fired. Let's go on an adventure. It's so strange but it ties in later on in the movie. It's a revenge mission movie. And I kind of found it weird that the revenge mission kind of fails halfway through the running time. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then kind of turns into a heist movie. There's real footage used of mining stuff going on uh, in the movie. I thought it looked a little out of place, but okay. I kind of get maybe why they, why they put it in there. Is the barman from The Shining in Green Ice? I thought it was him as one of the kind of villains in there. I'm not too sure. Maybe somebody else could tell me out there. There is a really strange fight in the finale on a beach. And everybody who's shot in this movie, <laughs> they're shot and they act really bad. And there's no blood. <laughs> so... It's wild, this thing, guys. Green ice. Bonus features on this one. You get an extended cut of the movie, which is really, really cool. And there's an audio commentary on the extended cut of the movie. Great stuff. There is a 16-minute interview with the stunt coordinator on there as well. Really cool. There is the five-minute, the Bond esque open and title sequence there's a textless version of that if you want to just see the art and the graphics for what they are and there's a three minute trailer on green ice as well there you go guys that wraps up two of the latest imprint arrivals here in the movie vault once again these are available right now link is in the description now below if you want to pick up either of these from imprint slash via vision please guys i want to hear from you jump in the comments down below have you ever seen green ice or strange invaders what did you think two cool additions here to the collection and as always i'm gonna wait to hear from you guys and see what you think of those movies too that's gonna do guys stay safe and i'll talk to you on the next video